Hey there, ultrasound peeps. How's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over my renal protocol, pretty much how I do it. Every institution will probably have a slight variation of this, but it shouldn't be vastly different. After you've seen the video, let me know in the comment sections how do you do it. Okay, for starters, I begin with the bladder, take sagittal and transverse images, also parasagittal to the right and parasagittal to the left. On the bottom two images, those are the ureteral jets on the left and right. You do not have to get this in a routine exam. However, if the patient's having hematuria, it's a good idea to get the jets to begin to rule out ureteral stones or kidney stones or any other obstruction caused by a calculus. Okay, then I move up to the right kidney, take sagittal midline, medial and lateral. You should have a minimum of three images. However, you could take more, especially if there's a pathology. Also, you would want to measure in the longest longitudinal distance at the midline of the kidney, like so. Some places require length, width, and height. Others, length only. Upper limits of normal for the adult kidney is usually between 13 and 14 centimeters, with 14 being at the higher upper limits. But it varies by age. The younger you are, the smaller your kidneys are going to be. There's charts that give you measurements by age range. Then move on to transverse. Take images of the superior, mid, and inferior pole. If you're going to measure the kidney in transverse, measure it at the mid pole. If you're going to measure height, you can do it in sagittal or transverse. I know there's a lot of arguments on that, but it really shouldn't matter. As you're scanning the kidney, uh, look for common things like nephrolithiasis, hydronephrosis. Renal cysts are quite common. Also look for any tumors. Check the renal echogenicity, which should be less in the liver. Move on to the left kidney. Complete the steps you did for the right side. Sagittal midline, lateral medial. Measure. Continue on to transverse. Repeat the steps from the right. Superior, mid, and inferior poles with measurements in the transverse mid pole shit portion. Always look for pathology. That's literally your job. This last part may not be routine in most labs, but once you're done with the sagittal images and supine, ask the patient to move prone for posterior anterior views. Once the patient has gotten over the confusion of whether to turn left or right, you're ready to begin scanning in PA. Sometimes you can get a little bit more accurate measurements in the PA views. Well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.